Hey guys, Skip here. Uh, this morning, well, it's raining and stuff outside. It's nasty. Just nothing like it was yesterday, except just as windy, but only rain coming down. At least it's not the white stuff, right? Today I'm going to dabble with a uh, something I've been working on for a while, and I finally got a little bit of information on uh, what I needed to, to to use. I wanted to make my own afterburners uh, for jets or any uh, anything that needed to be variable speed. And uh, I got a little bit of information um, from Guniac and from the uh, Hobby Squawk column. There's a pretty good info page on there on how to do these. So I thought I'd get a couple of components together real quick and uh, cheaply. Uh, this is actually a brushless, e uh, I'm sorry, not a brushless, but a brushed ESC. And uh, it, it's got, it, it, I guess it'll handle 2 and 3S. Uh, it's not a high, very high rated amperage, but uh, or BEC and stuff in there. But I'm going to probably bypass the ESC or the BEC anyway, because uh, I won't be needing that. But we're going to hook this up and, and try it out to see how it works. All right, hold tight. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, just to start off with, this is a prototype for me. I'm just trying it, demoing it. I'm using a strip light. Uh, flexible weatherproof strip light only because some of the smaller jets you could possibly just wrap this inside and cut it to your own size if you don't want to take the uh, the time to make an, a center fire afterburner uh, or have a 3d printer in my case I don't have a 3d printer and I don't even know how to use one so I'm coming up with uh, alternatives for uh, for this if I don't want to buy them um, but I, I did want to see if I could make one so we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot real quick uh, basically, this is a, a 2 or 2 to 3S brushed ESC, is what it was, is what I was told. Uh, it's supposed to be two-way, in other words, a, a forward and backward. Um, I did test it, and I didn't find it to be a forward and backward, so I thought I was going to have to put a diode in between the motor wires, uh, on one of the motor wires. So the current would only pass one way, depending on the position of the uh, throttle switch. But in this case, I was able to find out that when I hooked up uh, red to red, black to black, the light came on when I did the sweep, but it was backwards. So we're going to go from, we're going we're to crisscross the wires here, and uh, I'll show you how this thing works. Uh, hold tight here. Let me just get this soldered up real quick. This is temporary, guys, so I'm just kind of doing a semi-shoddy job. Waiting for my iron to warm up a little bit, but I do want to insulate one side so I don't spark nothing. feel like pulling out my little fingers not for a quick test and a quick video to show that it this idea works I'm just out of the other side here I don't know if this is going to be true with bulbs because I'm, I'm going to order a couple of the uh, LED interior or uh, uh, parking light bulbs I've seen on Amazon that are pretty bright. Tons of uh, LEDs and stuff in there and uh, kind of like what Guniac and a couple other guys are using. I've seen cluster boards on sale at uh, Hobby King but I believe RC Geek makes his own because I haven't seen anything like the ones he's got. Come on, sit still here. I 
And that should do it, guys. Hold tight. We're going to get a battery and test this out. Okay, guys. I've got a fully charged battery here. It's a 3S uh, 1000. I had to put an adapter on it but uh, so I could get a little flow through here. But let's power this up. Red to red. Black to black. Okay. It lit up. But now we're going to use a, uh, because I don't have a, well, plane ready, but not up and up and running. Um, we're just going to use a servo tester to test this out. And because it already has a built-in BEC, I don't need to add external voltage to my servo tester. Okay, so that's, see, like I, I was saying, that's full. Turn it up. Turn it down. Turn it up. Fulbright. Turn it down. Now my digital t voltage tester goes a little bit past to a point where it doesn't get the signal anymore. It doesn't give a signal anymore and it goes out. But it kicks on right about half throttle and then it gets brighter right about 2190 but yeah I think that'll work I think that'll work guys uh, anyway it was just an idea I thought I'd throw that at you guys obviously you're going to need to make more uh, an extension lead you might want to put a different lamp on the end of it but it does seem to work with 12 volt I haven't tried 4S on this yet, but uh, the uh, little set, uh, the little brushless DSC, it's not even warm, not even warm. Um, turn on full bright here. Yeah, it's not even getting warm. And well, now it's just starting to get a little bit warm, but that's because I'm holding it too. But uh, you know, flying, it's not going to do anything. And again, these things could be coiled to fit inside your inside your jets anywhere you want, and as many times as you want. Maybe you know a couple different colors if you wanted to put orange uh, and red, or amber and red. This is red. This is all I had left. I've got a couple of ambers laying around. I just couldn't find them. I just couldn't get my hands on them. But uh, you guys get the idea, right? Would be, th would be th uh, throttle operated. Simple, easy to make. Like I said, this thing only cost about two and a half, three bucks um, from China. You can get them cheaper on Amazon, uh, or not cheaper, you can get them faster through Amazon, uh, probably about seven or eight bucks. Uh, but piece of cake, easy to hook up, guys. If you get one where you find that it, uh, the switch is in the midpoint, and then it goes up and down, up and down from the midpoint, that's when you want to put a diode in between one of the power wires so that it limits the direction of flow one way and not the other so that as you get past the bottom end of your throttle, you don't want the lights going on. As soon as you start hitting past the center point, uh, the lights will start coming on. Okay? Hope that makes sense, guys. There's an article in Hobby Squawk. Uh, very, very interesting. I'll see if I can't find the address and pin it at the bottom of the description in this video. Take care, guys. Have a happy weekend and uh, dig yourself. Happy flying. Bye for now.